Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my full review on the Reich Thule. So this is another knife that came in by way of Justin over at OCD for EDC. He sent me the, um, the Buck Marksman knife, and he sent me this Thule um, to check out. So I've had this knife for a couple weeks, and I find it very interesting um, yet personally, I just don't like it and I'll get into why, of course. Um, but let's just jump into it. So aesthetically, what you're talking about here anyway, in terms of materials and everything, sorry, I swear to God. Yeah. 154 CM steel with a bead blasted blade, kind of a drop point reverse tanto. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the, um, Microtech SOCOM elite blade. If you just look at the blade, right? SOCOM Elite vibes. Uh, again, 154 CM. And then you have G10 for the handle. It's actually an integral. This is the first G10 integral. I remember that being advertised when this came out. It has this interesting wheel type flipper with jimping all over it. Blue accents, kind of Kaiser esque there. Uh, you have a deep carry clip that sticks past the handle, which is a big issue, in my opinion. Something that looks like it could be reversible, but is not. So, aesthetics. What do I think? I think it's a pretty good looking knife. I mean, I like the blade shape. I like the handle shape. I think the super satin chrome on the clip is a little obnoxious because of the blade. I, I would have went bead blast on everything, I think. But I don't know. I'm not a designer or a, anything. Um... So yeah, I think aesthetically, it's a good looking knife. I, I like the uh, integral design. I'm not the biggest fan of like red and black and splashing it all over. There is some carbon fiber in there as well. I should say that. Um, so yeah, that stuff's not my favorite, but I think it's a good looking knife for sure. Uh, ergonomics. This is where this knife starts to fall apart for me a bit. Um, if I hold it like this, it just feels sort of like wrong it feels like it's gonna break in my hand i know it's not it's not super like flimsy or anything it just feels sort of like that like i'm crushing it and it's gonna just you know i that sounds dumb but that's how it feels to me like when i bear down i'm like oh my god it's gonna break it doesn't obviously i'm not that strong um but it just feels weird to me and then when i go to close it as a lefty because that clip is not reversible, and because it sticks out like this, it has um, it has ANV syndrome, right? Actinon verba syndrome, where that clip is just pawing the shit out of me right here, right in my palm. That sucker is just gouging me as I go to close this, and it it doesn't hurt, but it is super obnoxious and uncomfortable to the point where it almost does hurt, um, especially if I kind of like do it quickly or bear down on it a little bit. Um, now right-handed, right? It, it's the same kind of weird feeling in hand. And then you have this clip right here with the, you know, deep carry and everything. It's not bad. You can feel it there. And then when you close it right-handed, you have no issue because there's nothing there to bite you because it's on that side. So if you're right-handed, you're not going to notice what I'm talking about. Uh, but as soon as you go to do it left-handed, you're going to be like, oh, crap. Even when I flick it, sometimes that thing is in my palm. Um, and I just hate it. So, um, yeah, I do not like the ergonomics on this knife at all. Uh, the flipper tab there with the jimping, just uh, the wheel is kind of cool. But after a while, it does wear on your finger a little bit. It rips it up a little bit. Uh, it's just a little too aggressive, which it has to be because it's a wheel. So I, I probably would have went with a different design on the flipper tab, although it does look cool. So there's that. Um, carry. So carried this in the back left pocket a little bit because it's right hand only, which is dumb because it should be left hand carry. Like it should be reversible. Look at that, right? It looks like they have a filler tab and you should be able to just reverse everything. Nope, can't do it. So that bothers me right off the bat, but it does carry pretty well. Clip is fine. Good retention. Very normal carry, honestly. Um, I will say, um, if you reach past it, this shredded up flipper tab will get you. Um, and it will scratch you a little bit. So, But I normally don't carry anything in that pocket, so it's not a big deal. Uh, let's think. So, cutting. 
Yeah, I mean, 154 CM, pretty thin blade stock on there. Comes down to a good edge. I didn't cut much with it, but Justin takes care of his edges very well. Uh, that was me. You can see there, it cuts really well. If I'm not, hold on. I got some paper stuck to it. It's a good cutter. Um, no issues on the cutting. Thin enough behind the edge. Um, yeah, I wouldn't complain about it at all. Not at all. Um, sounds. So this is an integral, and I guess because it's G10, it has a little more thunk to it than a titanium integral does, which is kind of weird. Um, but I like the sounds on it. It would definitely be like a 6 or 7 out of 10 on the sounds. It has a good acoustic to it. Uh, detent, by the way, on this guy. Well, let's get into uh, action. Detent is spot on. Uh, Reich nailed the detent. That is good to know. There's another company out there. It's the first Reich knife I've handled. It's R-I-K-E. Um, it's good to know there's another company out there that can dial a detent. Because, you know, there, there's a lot that can't. Um, that just don't nail it. And it bothers me, right? But knowing that Reich can means I want to try other Reich knives, right? And this isn't even one of their, like, top tier knives. This is... You know, this seemed like something they did to show off, right? Like G10 Integral. Like, that sounds cool, right? Um, so, yeah. Um, the action on the D10 is good. Again, it hurts a little bit after a while with that flipper. Closing action drops very well. And then it's a little shaky, right? It's not like guillotining. Uh, I could have maybe tuned it a little bit. It's already a little loose in the pivot, so... I don't know if it would ever guillotine, but, you know, you can add a little KPL heavy, some bearings. It might. Um, but for a three and a half inch, three and three quarter inch blade, uh, I think it's it does very well. I don't think many people would complain about the action. Of course, I'd want it to drop shut, but, you know, it is what it is. Action, good on this knife. Again, will hurt a little bit, though, after a while. Um, I believe these were around 150 bucks. if i trying to remember. I remember when they came out, I actually watched Justin's video because I was wondering if the clip would reverse, and I found out it doesn't. He's left-handed, that's why he tried it. Um, but yeah, I think they were around 150 bucks. I can't be 100% sure, but 154CM G10 Integral... It's got to be around there, right? I think they made one with yellow and this carbon fiber, which looks hideous. Uh, and they had the red. I don't know if they did a blue as well. Very possible. Um, but yeah, I think the value is there for that price. Uh, 154 is a good steal, guys. I mean, unless you're asking for more than 150 And you got to remember the integral part adds money too. So it's kind of a combination there to get you to that price. Um yeah, I think it's a good price. I think it's a good value. I think if the ergos look like they would work for you and you're not left-handed, because trust me, don't even get this if you're left-handed, I think this is a good option. I do. I think it's an interesting knife from a different company. It's not Ria. It's not We. It's not Kaiser. It's not Best Tech. You know, it's something different. Reich. I like that. Uh, and it's a very good knife, you know? So that comes in handy sometimes. Uh, just not perfect for me been saying that a lot uh with loners but uh, i'm really glad i got to check this out i appreciate liner lock knives for a lefty too bad they didn't think about it with the clip though it is dead nuts by the way sorry uh yeah so that is the reich Tule g10 integral with carbon fiber kind of accents um i really appreciate justin for loaning this into me uh it is a cool knife to check out, and uh, I definitely want to try more stuff from Reich. Um, see some of their more premium stuff, maybe, and see what they can do. So, that's it, guys. I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.